हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल फार्मेसी इन डेप्थ वेयर वी विल टॉक अबाउट फार्मेसी रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स इन डिटेल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट टैबलेट डिसइंटीग्रेशन टेस्ट अपैरेटस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट लेट्स सी व्हाट इज डिसइंटीग्रेशन सो व्हेन अ टैबलेट डिसइंटीग्रेट्स और ब्रेक्स इनटू स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स दिस इज नोन एज डिसइंटीग्रेशन and the time required by the tablet to break into small particles is called disintegration time the disintegration test is done for uncoated tablets coated tablets enteric coated tablets orally disintegrating tablets hard gelatin and soft gelatin capsules but this test is not done in case of lozenges chewable tablets effervescent tablets dispensing tablet hypodermic tablets or tablet triturates Now let's understand the apparatus. So it consists of a rigid basket rack assembly which has six cylindrical transparent tubes made of glass. They have an internal diameter of 20.7 to 23 mm and a length of 75 to 80 mm. These tubes are held vertically by two plastic plates which is on the top and bottom having a diameter of 88 to 92 mm. These plates have six holes which have the same diameter as that of the tube so that these tubes can be inserted in these holes these holes are placed at equal distance from each other which makes them equidistant from each other at the bottom end of these tubes there is a 10 mesh screen that means it has 10 holes per inch as per ip the top and the bottom plastic plate are connected by three metallic rods which are at the periphery and one metallic rod in the center which is connected to a mechanical device which moves the basket up and down for the disintegration test as we can see here that the central rod of the basket rack assembly is connected to a mechanical device which moves it up and down for the disintegration test there is a beaker having a capacity of 1 liter in which we fill the media which is specified in the monograph and we see the disintegration of the tablet we also have cylindrical guide disc which is having a diameter of 20.7 mm and there are five holes four at the periphery and one in the center with a diameter of 2 mm now let's see how this test is performed so we fill up the beaker with the media which is specified for the test in the monograph and we heat it to 37 degrees celsius then from our lot of tablet we take six tablets and put each one in all the tubes all the six tubes then we put one disc on each tubes over the tablet and we start the disintegration test the basket rack assembly moves up and down so that the wire mesh which is at the bottom of each tube is at least 25 mm below the surface of liquid and 25 mm above the bottom of the beaker the basket rack assembly moves up and down at a rate of 29 to 32 cycles per minute and the test is continued till all the tablets in all the six tubes disintegrates and passes through the wire mesh to the beaker now let's see the disintegration time limits for different types of tablets as per usp first is uncoated or plain coated tablets for this we take six tablets and put it in each tube and we perform the test using water or any media which is specified in the monograph we maintain the liquid at 37 degrees celsius and at the end of the time which is specified all the tablets in all the six tubes should have disintegrated if out of six one or two tablets fail to disintegrate then we repeat the test with 12 additional tablets and we pass the test if out of 18 tablets not less than 16 tablets are disintegrated in the specified time second type of tablets are delayed release tablets or capsules these are the tablets or capsules which are enteric coated that means they will not dissolve in acid so for this we place one tablet or capsule in each tube of the basket then if the dosage unit are not sugar coated then we go for the acid stage which is mentioned below but if the coating is sugar coating then we immerse the tablet or capsule in the basket at room temperature for 5 minute and then immediately go to the acid stage 
we put one disc to each tube if specified in the monogram. For acid stage, we take 0.1 molar HCl or simulated gastric fluid and we maintain it at 37 degrees Celsius. We perform the test for 1 hour and after 1 hour, if there is no damage to the tablet or capsule, then we move to the buffer stage. For buffer stage, we take phosphate buffer of pH 6.8 or simulated intestinal fluid. We maintain it at 37 degrees Celsius and we do the test till all the units are disintegrated into the beaker. The test passes if there is no disintegration in the acid stage and in the buffer stage if the disintegration happens as per the time which is mentioned in the monograph. Third type of tablets are effervescent tablets for oral solution. For this, we place one tablet in each of six beakers containing 200 ml of water. We wait for 5 minutes and after 5 minutes, the evolution of gas around each tablet or its fragments has ceased. Each tablet has dissolved or disintegrated and has been dispersed in the water so that no appreciable agglomerates remains. And if that happens, that means the test passes. Fourth type of dosage form are the effervescent granules. For this, we take 6 beakers and we fill it with 200 ml of water. We place one dose of effervescent granules in each of the beaker and we wait for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, the evolution of gas around the granules in each beaker has ceased and the granules have dissolved or disintegrated completely. So guys, this was a simple summarization of the disintegration test for tablets. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you liked it and if you did, like it, share it and subscribe to my channel.